Hello farmers and welcome back to American Falls. This plowing contract should give me enough cash to be able to buy the flax field, finally. Had to move over to the month of August, there just wasn't enough contracts in July to get us to where we need to be. So once we get this job done here, we'll buy the flax field. We'll take the Vulture, which I've already converted over to narrow tires, and we'll do some soil sampling, fertilized spreading, lime spreading, get that field up as best as we can because September is time to harvest the flax. Uh, meanwhile, while my work has been doing some contracts for myself, I did pick up all the grass in our grass field that's been mostly put into the fermenting silo. Uh, the last trailer I picked up, it's not a full trailer, I left in the forge wagon for a couple of reasons. Um, oh, this contract is done? Perfect. Um, yeah, so our fermenting silo is going to max out on silage. It can only hold, I do believe, 500,000 liters, which is a good amount. And I got more grass in there than what we're going to get for silage. If I go down to here, I'll show you what I'm kind of talking about. Uh, oh, flour. I got to move that stuff around so we can get more to spawn there. Uh, yeah, if I go over to here, uh, we are approaching 300,000 liters of silage in storage. And if you add this amount here, that's going to be turned over to silage. I think we're to max out of 500, so I got more grass in there than what we could use. So I'm holding on to the other grass because I will probably end up buying the sheep farm, the farmyard, so we can go ahead and get some sheep in there. I went on my test map and that sheep pen only takes grass, no hay. So I'm thinking next time we cut the grass in the grass field, I may just bail it up into grass bales and bring them on over. I won't have, well, I may not have enough money to buy the sheep pen uh, at that point, but maybe we will. I mean, uh, we're talking October. I'm going to need another 170000 And speaking of another 170000 uh, let me go in and buy the flax field right here that I want to buy. Field number 59. You can see expected yield potential is 111%. It does cost 170736 Let's go ahead and buy that there. Now we own another piece of land. More farmland for us. Uh, yeah, so if I come over to here, this is where the sheep pasture is. Uh, it's 164,712. That is what we need in total. So we're going to work our way towards that, I do believe. I think that'll be my next purchase for land. As for equipment, I don't know. Uh, it all depends on what the store brings up. Uh, the store has brought up, I don't think, anything of interest. I mean, another combine, but we, we got that a wrapper for round bales and a potato harvester yeah potato harvester so nothing currently that we need there so yeah there goes 170,000 out the door but uh, you know what we'll be harvesting that field next month uh flax will probably hold on to in the silo and sell that when the price is best but we will be able to get some straw off it uh i'll probably swath it and leave it there uh, and i'll leave it there until the following month after harvest harvest will be september uh, and wait till October to bale it because I can do the grass field and make grass bales with a baler and also flax straw bales at the same time. So that's the plan as for now. Uh, right now I'm going to bring the the Landini on down. I got one more plowing contract that I've taken and I probably should put some diesel into this thing. I assume this uh, tractor takes diesel. Uh, we'll top it off with some diesel, set it off on a worker. Yeah, I think it's the field right next to the fuel station down here. And we're going to jump into the Valtra and get that field, like I said, in tip-top shape. Just making sure, I think traffic that always comes up this road always turns that way. So we do got a lot of straw bales that we can sell at some point. I'll probably sell those, I'm guessing, in October when I cut the grass field again. So I'll be picking up the grass bales and I'll have all the straw bales. I'll probably just sell them all at once. And the price should be better than what it is now. Of course, I wait until December. It'll be even better. But I don't want the bale sitting out in the, our fields that long. Not that they're going to decay or anything like that. That's not a thing in Farming Simulator 22. It was in 19 with Seasons, though. And I kind of missed that a little bit. All right, put that. Can we, can we put the plow down? Thank you. All right, we'll get ourselves a worker for this field here. Uh, we are way... Oh, I was going to put fuel into it. Uh, let's see if I got enough fuel to finish this job, I guess. And then we'll top it off. I don't think I got any more fuel back at the farm because we use it all. So I can go ahead and buy some more. 
Um, you know what? Two headlands I think would be good enough. Yeah, just a uh, 1% overlap on the headlands. Now, I think this will pay like eight grand, maybe? All right, who we got working here? Ah, it's Franco today. Franco will be uh, plowing that field. Uh, this will pay 7,200, so not too bad. I got another plowing contract. I have not gotten, gotten any harvesting contracts going to the grain mill, uh, but a couple of comments have now come in and said, yeah, just like, uh, just like a regular contract, if it does go to the grain mill, I, I'm not gonna get all the grain. The original grain that has to complete the contract will just basically disappear. But any extra, of course, I do get um, will just go in and be making flour. Uh, speaking of flour, I need to come on down to the grain mill. And I just need to move these out of the way so more can spawn. And this production will keep on going. That way when I sell the flour in November or is it January? I kind of forgot now. I always want to say it's November, but I don't think it's November. Might be thinking of eggs in November. There we go. That's a good amount of flour to be begin with here. Uh, let's go to my stock market page and we can find out there. So flour, um, January. Currently, we got about uh, twenty six thousand dollars worth of flour. All right, it's not too bad. Uh, silage, we're looking at about fifty four thousand. Of course, we keep just adding to the list because we're making this product. Oh, that's a lot of flour, man. Are these one thousand liters a piece? All right, they are 1,000 liters a piece. That's just a, a lot going on here. All right, it's gonna get a little messy around here. I'll definitely be using an auto loader <laughs> when it comes time to pick these up. And I do believe we got a good amount of flour left to be made, right? I think I just saw that when I was scrolling through. Uh, not a whole lot, but maybe another 50,000 liters of flour, give or take. All right, let's get up to our Voltra, which is right here. So. I do got narrow tires on it, so we are all set to go into our flax field. I think when I do soil samples, I'll probably grab some for the grass field as well. Because I can't remember the last time we did that. And since we're over here and we got the soil sampler, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let me get this map out here. Now, we don't need to be this far over. I think we can come over to like right about here. All right, and boop, grab a sample. See how much I can get. I think I can get the whole field if I do one here. Not the whole field, but width-wise, get the whole field. And we'll get another one. Right there, I'll get that corner. And now we'll do the grass field as well, because that's going to be due pretty soon. We want to keep this up to date. Uh, I will fertilize the grass field while we're over here taking care of our flax field, too. Don't want to neglect the grass field. And I probably, well, you know, I'll just come over here and I'll get a little bit more of the other field as well. May as well. I mean, it's, it's not going to hurt anything. Soil samples are not that expensive. And since we got the modded one where I think our working, uh, working area is doubled. Kind of reduces how much soil samples we got to send in. I don't know if I got the entire field or not. I think I did. But as I said, they're not that expensive. Let's just get one more just to be sure. Okay, now what I need to do is I got to drop off the fertilizer spreader. Sounds kind of weird, but I just got to drop it off to be able to send the soil samples in. 
All right, now I'm going to fold this on up so that way you don't accidentally take another sample. And now we're just waiting for the samples to come on in. And then we can get to taking care of our fields. Seems like the more samples you send in, the longer it takes to analyze. But I should be able to fertilize uh, this field here anyways, the grass field, because that was not out of date. There we go. Ooh, but it did uh, over fertilize because, oh yeah, because when, I t when you take samples, it does clear out the previous uh, information on the field. So I probably got too much fertilizer down, down there. But luckily it's just, I don't want to say just the grass field and it's not going to bother it too much, I don't think. I don't think I need that up because I can kind of see where I've been fertilizing. And of course we will spread some lime in that uh, flax field at the same time. Yeah, so I was kind of interested to see that when on my test map I went over to the sheep farm. And on the pens it was just grass only, no, other, no options for hay or anything. Um, I do believe we can also have goats over there as well. And I think the capacity on that sheep pen is like 60. Somewhere around 60. So not a whole lot, but you know what? We're going to go ahead and get them anyways because I got more grass and I know what to do with over here. I could also maybe, you know, if I don't have enough money to possibly have the sheep pasture by then, maybe I'll just, uh, I should have like 60 grand and maybe I'll buy another fermenting silo and we can buy the one over here at the cow barn. And we can just put the grass in there and let that uh, ferment some grass at the same time. Now we should have enough fertilizer to get both of these fields done, I think. I don't know how much flax needs for fertilizer. Our neighbors are getting a little bit of extra fertilizer themselves. Hope they don't mind. Alright, let me make sure I get that in wide working with again. Uh, but now I am going to bring up the mini map because that way I'll be able to see where I have fertilized. So you potentially you can see the pH value is actually showing good. I probably got some lime on it when I was doing our grass fields, but nitrogen is very bad. Expected yield right now is 78% out of potential 100. Let's go ahead and fix this. Your colors are looking a little bit better, but then again, as I mentioned before, you don't always want extremely dark green because every crop is going to need a different percent of nitrogen into the ground. So, like, if you have a soybean field, nitrogen level should be in the red because soybeans don't need nitrogen at all. Now, but I can see flax is kind of like a, a cereal crop, meaning wheat, barley, because those crops also require a lot of nitrogen. But you can see in the upper left-hand corner, currently the state of the field that we're in, and the checkered flag is where... Uh, we kind of need the fertilizer to be at. Yeah, I should have enough fertilizer to complete this, which is good. I don't want to be going to buy a whole bunch of fertilizer when I got to empty this out and put some lime into it. And of course, yeah, it has been suggested that we buy another spreader for lime and that is my plan at some point but I've been saving money up to try to get more equipment that we definitely do need on the farm and at the same time also saving some money up to expand the amount of fields that we have
This is an interesting looking crop for sure. If you scroll on it, you can kind of see how the flax when it flowers, how it looks like. And I should mention that, um, yeah, I, I've been checking out Lancy Boy's Facebook page as often as I can to see if there's any updates on American Falls. But I did see today as I'm recording, uh, he has released a PC updated version for Stone Valley so on his Facebook page. So if you want to go to his Facebook page and get up the updated version for Stone Valley, that is available. Not, it's not on Giants Mod Hub yet, but I'm pretty sure it will be once it passed testing. Uh, but right now it is on his Facebook page if you want it. So now that we're done fertilizing, let's go back to the farm. We'll drop off the soil sampler. We'll empty out the fertilizer. And I think I got some lime, but I probably don't have enough to get the field done. Meanwhile, Franco is probably still down in that field plowing along. I'll get a notification when he's done with the job, at least. And there is another plowing contract. I'll probably send him off and get it done. Like I said, start collecting the money so we can buy the sheep pen. Uh, I've been looking at other fields, and yeah, there's going to be... As for good yielding fields, that's when we're starting to get up to like $300,000, $400,000 for those fields and I think uh, getting ourselves a sheep pen. I don't really need the sheds or anything like that over there. But sheep are easy to take care of. I will have to give them water. It's not one of those pens that automatically get water into them. Uh, nope, I need that. I need to drop off that. And I don't think I need the weight for the, for a counterbalance because there should be no weight technically in the spreader for what we're doing. Uh, that might be all the lime that I have. Okay, I got lime there. I think over here is the seed and herbicide. Yeah, I don't see no lime there. I did feed the birds this morning, the chickens and the ducks. So they're good. Are we completely empty? Looks like we are. And you should grab the lime only. Don't know why it's not taking all of it. There we go. And of course, we're going to need more than that. And this will hold 10,000 liters. All right, let's go take care of our flax field and get it. I don't want to say up near perfection, but close enough. Yeah, that's how much grass I have in the forge wagon currently. I figured I'd just leave it in there because, as I mentioned, um, our fermenting silo is going to uh, cap on silage. And if we do happen to get the sheep pen earlier before our grass field is ready, well, I'll have grass to be able to put in their feed trough. So I don't think I can take grass back out without fermenting silo. I might be able to. I don't know. Actually, I think I, think I did test that. I think I might be able to. I'm like 90% sure on that. So, I mean, I guess I could put it in there. But nothing's going to happen to that grass. It's going to sit there. They'll be just fine. Now, it's going to be a little bit tricky spreading the lime down in this field. Because the mini-map works for fertilizer. But it does not work for lime showing you where you've been. So, I'm going to have to kind of guesstimate where we've been. I don't think I'm going to be able to see it. Well, maybe I will be able to see it through the crop. Alright, it does show up pretty well through the crop. I thought the crop might be too tall, and I might not be able to see where I've been, but I think we'll be just, just fine. Actually, it does show up for lime. Alright, I thought it didn't. 
I guess maybe I don't spread the lime that much. <laughs> I think maybe I usually I spread the lime after a crop has been harvested, so it's pretty easy to see where we've been. But we can see the value change for sure. And if I have any leftover lime, well, I'm going to go over to the grass field and just dump it into there. That way I won't have any pallets of lime sitting around the farm. Uh, how's Franco getting along over there? Well, he's still moving. But I'm guessing he is just about done. Getting us some more money into our bank account. Yeah, so I need another 170000 as I mentioned, to buy the sheep pen. Um, I did uh, forget to return the trailer last night that I leased in the previous episode for harvesting the crops. But luckily the overnight fee wasn't too expensive and I thought I would keep it just in case I have harvesting contracts for today. And at this point, I'm probably just going to keep it overnight again because I'm going to need a trailer for this flax field tomorrow uh, in the month of September. So I'll just keep it around. But I probably should look into buying a decent trailer at some point. I might actually go on the mod hub and try to get away from trailers that I've been using. But I think uh, when it comes down to it, as we get more and more money and we upgrade more and more, I'll probably end up with the same trailer that I always do. That holds 120,000 liters, a dump body, but maybe I'll switch it up a little bit. I'm kind of hoping I can cover the whole field, but I think the sensors are not going to see that little section over here. Well, it sees that, which is good. Okay, but it's not wide enough to see that. And But you see that. Well, that's good enough, I guess. Alright, so we got a little bit of lime left. Let's come over to the grass field. Uh, let's stay away from the spot which we're in, which is, you know, got too much lime into it. So I got a couple months to figure out uh, what we're going to be doing with this grass field. I mean, yes, it'll be cut. It will be put into a swath. Is this a matter of do I make grass bales or do I put it into a fermenting silo? But I'll have to buy another one for 60 grand. And the amount of grass bales I can make off this field probably be enough to feed the sheep pasture for a few years. Because only be able to hold like 60 sheep and goats. Yeah, it's not going to require that much feed over there. And if I put the real grazing mud on, the animals will get the grass off that uh, field, I think. The real grazing mud did not work on Goldcrest Valley. But it may work here on American Falls. Alright, our flax field's taken care of. Our grass field's pretty much taken care of. We're going to bring this back to the farm. We'll park it on up. Yeah, the farmyard is starting to get a little bit busy and clustered. They need to start putting some things away. But since uh, probably next episode I'll be harvesting the flax field, the harvester is still sitting out. I did repair it. Oh, I don't, I don't know if I repaired it, but what I was looking at was I was trying to see how much it was to put tracks on the combine. Because right now we got dual wheels on the front. And I would prefer the tracks on the combine, but the tracks would cost me 20 grand for an upgrade. So I'm probably going to hold off onto that for now. And of course, the Fent 1000 is sitting there with the forge wagon. And I'll just park this here, just like everything else I'm parking around. Uh, let's go down and see what Franco is up to. He should be just about done. 
Matter of fact, we will dismiss Franco. Uh, did the contract finish? Uh, the contract is complete, so let's collect on that. And let's see, plow field number seven. We'll take that one. As for harvesting contracts, they're not, you know, not well-paying jobs here. So they're going to we buy anything, we buy anything, and American Crop Selling Station. So currently, I just can't seem to get any contracts going to the grain mill. Now, of course, from what, you know, people told me, uh, it doesn't really matter too much because the monocrop that is required for the contract is going to disappear. I'm not going to get it. So technically, if I were to take a contract uh, for like a wheat field or something, it doesn't matter where it's going. I can go ahead and deliver it and all the excess grain I get. Then I can bring it down to the grain mill and I can profit off of it that way. Uh, field number seven is going to be on the northeast part somewhere over here, right? Oh, right here. Gotcha. I know where that is. So let's just uh, turn around here and we'll head over and start plowing that field up. That's all the bales. We will sell those in October, so we should make a little bit of cash off of those. Of course, we'll have to lease a baling trailer. And of course, we'll lease another baler as well. So we'll pick up the straw in the flax field. And of course, I guess uh, we're probably just going to bale the grass here, I think, and just have a stockpile for the sheep whenever they want it. I don't know if I really want to buy another fermenting silo or not. In the future, you know, when we do get cows, if I do decide to make TMR for the cows, because I might just feed the cows some hay anyways, uh, just be a lot easier. And we don't lose as much um, than feeding them TMR. We'll probably just, you know, give them some hay as well. We won't need to have a whole bunch of silage. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out the NPC fields on this map to where it seems like if I don't do a har the harvesting contract, they don't harvest their own fields because a lot of the fields I plow still have the crop in them and they're withered. Let's see if this one is a withered crop over here or did they actually harvest it? Uh, this one actually looks like it's been harvested. All right, so they are harvesting some of the fields. But I guess it does add a little bit of a dynamic to it to where sometimes you go into a field and you just see withered crops. So it's kind of interesting. So of course I'll probably do a, a handful of contracts in between episodes if really good ones come up. I don't want to keep showing me plowing a lot because we've done a lot of that already in the series. But you know, here and there we'll show a little bit of it. And of course any fertilizing contracts come up we'll be doing those as well. All the good paying ones. I'm starting to pass up one. If it's under, if it's like 5,000 or less, for the most part, I'm like, yeah, it's not worth it. Unless it's the field right next to the one I'm already doing that pays well, then I'll grab it. Of course, if I see, you know, five digits there, like 10,000 or more, I don't hesitate to plow it or fertilize it because uh, we can just set off a worker to take care of those fields. But, speaking of fields, we got another one added to our farm which is going to be just lovely so another field to harvest and then I, I really need to start thinking about do I want to do any fall planting this year or do I want to plant all crops in the spring uh, I think September is the month we really have to look at if I want to plant different type of, type of crops uh, wheat or barley is in the fall canola would be an interesting one to do we're not doing crop rotation here so that doesn't really matter as for popular grass oilseed radish not so much uh, rye would be an interesting one. Um, and flax is planting in the spring. Maybe I'll plant some rye somewhere. So maybe we'll plant some rye and maybe wheat and barley. Can I do that all like in one month? I can. So maybe what we'll do is we'll lease the uh, horse avatar drill. And we got three fields, right? One, two, three. Yeah, we got three arable fields. So we'll do wheat, barley. And then we'll do one of rye. So the wheat and barley, of course, uh, can be made into flour. And we'll keep a little bit of extra for the birds next year if they need it. 
and the rye will probably just sell straight up. So that's that's what I think that's where our plan going forward is. Uh, so September, yep, we'll harvest our flax. That'll go into storage, and then in October we'll be drilling all three fields, and all three fields are or should be ready to go. Of course, one has flax in it right now, but as I mentioned, that'll be harvested in September. And of course, the other two fields, which were the oat field and the wheat field, those are already uh, kind of empty. But I will have to take the straw bales out of them first. So we'll make a little bit of cash selling the bales first and then lease the horse avatar drill, use it all in one month. And we'll get all of our fields planted. And then that way when spring rolls around, we shouldn't have any field work to do unless I buy another field throughout the winter. Um, but that's, you know, trying to... I don't want to plan too far ahead, but I think that's uh, kind of the way my my farm manager skills are going to bring me for today, planning that far ahead till October. Uh, but the rest of this month, I'll be just doing some contracts, of course. Uh, once we get this contract done, we should be somewhere around thirty grand, so that's not too bad of a starting point. Uh, we still do have the $300,000 loan, but since I'm only paying $1,000 a month on interest, that's not too bad. Um, at some point, of course, we'll repay out that loan once we're doing rather well for ourselves. We're doing okay for ourselves, but not that well. I want to keep all that 300000 that we have borrowed from the bank on our side, if you can uh, vision that. So we can start uh, saving up to buy some more farmland or more farm equipment. But that's where we're going to wrap up for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching, as always. And I'll catch you again right here in American Falls. But until then... Have a good one.